Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up PyQt6 as well as the Qt Designer tool. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I use PyQt a lot. It's a very, very popular library for using Qt with Python to create very interesting graphical user applications as well as desktop apps. So before we've done PyQt5, now let's go and do PyQt6. So to install PyQt6, I'm going to use this line right here. So pip install PyQt6. I just copied it. Then what I'm going to do is I will pull up a command prompt. You can just write CMD to open it up. And then I'm going to simply paste pip install PyQt6. Now, if you're using a virtual environment, ideally you want to install PyQt6 within that virtual environment, but it would usually be the same way. So in my case, it says here requirement already satisfied. This is because I already went ahead and installed it myself on my machine so in your case this will take about a minute or two install the whole thing and then you should be good to go all right now that we've installed pyqt6 we can now actually use it in our code to create these applications by writing down the code to create every single widget on the screen however if you are familiar already with PyQt5, you know there is something called the Qt Designer. This is a tool, it's an interface, which provides a visual way for you to build your interfaces by dragging and dropping different elements. I'll show you in just about a minute. So to install that tool, you have to do so separately from PyQt6. And this is really easy, you just have to say pip install pyqt6-tools. So this pyqt6-tools, this will install the Qt Designer. Again, in my case, this says requirement already satisfied. As you can see, it's done installing. In your case, go ahead, wait a couple minutes and wait for it to finish installing. All right, I have installed it now. I should have this separate tool on my machine. How do I go ahead and actually open it? So I'm going to ask you to open up your site packages folder. So you have to come here and go to your site packages folder. As you can see on my screen, I have my site packages open. This is where your Python libraries will exist. So you're going to want to go inside this Qt6 underscore applications folder. So this is where we're actually going to locate this Qt designer so that we can launch it and then make the process simpler for future times. So now that you have located your site packages and then opened up Qt6 applications, what you want to do next is you will go inside Qt, then inside bin, and here you're going to find a bunch of stuff. What we're interested in is this designer guy right here. So this is what I've been talking about this whole time. Now let's just try to launch it so I can show you what it looks like. And this is what the interface looks like. So using this tool, you can create your interfaces for your Python apps using a simple drag and drop method. So if I press on create, this will create my window. Let me just close this. I can add maybe a button to my window. I can add um, a label. I can add some different inputs. So let's see text edit this guy so this is where you would type text then i can go to form and i can preview and you can see that here i can type stuff i can press the button obviously this is not sophisticated by any means and it's pretty ugly but this is just for the sake of example i'm trying to show you how you can use this tool so we were able to launch this tool by again going to the site packages going to qt6 applications and then finding the qt and the bin folder now obviously we don't want to go through this every single time so what i do suggest that you do is you can just right click and pin it to your taskbar or you can create a shortcut on your desktop which you can access much more easily every time you actually need the designer so now we have the designer, we have PyQt6 installed, you can go ahead and start creating your applications. Of course, I'll follow it up with some tutorials, I'll create some tutorials on this channel. I already have a bunch of tutorials on PyQt5, a lot of them do work with PyQt6, but I'll create some new dedicated ones very soon. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.